We all have that friend who wakes up early to go get everyone McDonald's breakfast while the rest of us sleep in. This is your sign to thank them. And if you're that friend, this is us saying thank you. Just a friendly reminder that right now, get any size iced coffee before 11 a.m. for just 99 cents. And a satisfying sausage McMuffin with egg is just two seventy nine. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Hey guys, it is Ryan. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I'm a bit of a fun fanatic when I can. I like to work, but I like fun too. It's a thing. And now the truth is out there. I can tell you about my favorite place to have fun. Chumba Casino. They have hundreds of social casino style games to choose from with new games released each week. You can play for free anytime, anywhere And each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses. So join me in the fun. Sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. I have been here. The Grey Goose. Adventures of a Modern Robin Hood. What a spot to be in. In fact, a hot spot. You see, I was after some of the ill-gotten gains of one Edmund Purbright, a Harsho manufacturer. With Barbara on the lookout, I managed to negotiate the electrical protection contrivances which guarded his extensive works and made my way up to his flat over the said works. Eventually, he admitted me, and we commenced to wrangle. The longer I was with him, the more was I convinced something was screwy. Being bidden to sit down, I did so, only to find I was sitting in a highly charged electric chair. I suffered agony, while old Purbright calmly telephoned the police. Oh! Yes, you may well groan, but I'm afraid you must put up with the inconvenience. You see, my telephone call just now alerted an extremely efficient system of protection. The fencing round the works, which somehow you evaded, is now on full charge. Only the port of the gate can cut the current. Can't you reduce it a little? Of course I can, from this little switch box. But, uh, no, I think not. Mind you, I'd like to remove that mask of yours. But you daren't. You'd get the shock, too. I think I'll risk that. Uh, I also have some uh, rubber gloves like yourself. uh, Hmm. (laughs) Sitting as you are, my friend, uh, only a pair of rubber pants could have saved you from that very painful chair. uh, Ah. uh, Uh, Do you hear that? uh, uh, That's the arrival of the police and special guards. It will not be long before I will have the means of getting out of you the truth. uh, In the meantime, having got my rubber gloves on... Permit me to remove the mask. Hey, what the devil's happened? Here, lights! Lights up! Bless my soul! A power failure! And thus, and so, my old tortoise, comes my chance. Help someone! Help! There's a thief in my room! Hurry, I say! Hurry! Help! Make some someone up here! Help! Help! Rolly! What? You, Barbara? How in heaven's name... Don't wait. Too dangerous. Come on, explain later. For heaven's sake, come on. The place is alive with police and watchmen. Good. Then let's hop it. got away. But that was a very close call, Rowley. Close? My dear girl, it appears you got me out of this fix. My hat, I'll never, never forget that electric chair of his. It must have been awful. It was unmitigated hell. But tell me, how the dickens did you arrive when you did? And what caused the power failure just in the nick of time? Well, you remember the night watchman who wouldn't let us in? Well, of course. After you vaulted that gate, I had a bit of a brainwave. I thought if this electric protection is so very comprehensive, you might have a job to leave in a hurry. Which, as it happens, was a very good guess, too. So I rang the bell again, and, as when you were there, the night watchman called out. Even then, I wasn't quite certain what I was going to do or say. However, I happened to sight, close by the door, a roster of names. Duty men? Yes. Ah. And at this hour, for a spell of four hours, was William Gold. So I became a little gold digger and dug for gold. William. Eventually, he fell a little and opened the door to get a good look at me. I'll refrain from asking what words you used to dig with. Well, it wasn't just abracadabra. Uh, Go on, hussy. When he did open the door, I realised he was in what might be called a control room of sorts. Switches all over the place. 
but of course I couldn't get one foot over the threshold. However, he got a little bold with a little encouragement from me. <coughs> Meantime, I'd spotted a very big switch low down, so I fainted, and the brute let me fall. And I kicked out on that bottom switch and managed the blackout. Then I uh, scrammed. And chased up after me. My girl, if I had a Victoria Cross, I'd willingly hand it over to you. Thanks. Rowley, the job seems to me just about impossible. What about it? There's this about it. I suffered tortures in that chair, and dangerous or not, I'm going all out after our friend Edmund Purbright. What did you find out? Uh, nothing much. We spent a long time talking. I kept him at it so as to get a good look at him and his precious flat. And do you know something, my girl? He's a man that talks to himself. That's quite a habit with some people. Well, I don't know of any people who say to themselves, get a move on quick, and then say back to themselves, I'll be in the back room. Then he had company. He said no. That flat only has two rooms and a kitchen, and I didn't see anyone. Mysterious? So mysterious that I'm going back to explore that flat in the daytime. Oh, I think you're crazy. Ah, maybe, but I just can't forget that hot seat. Tomorrow, I don some workman's dungarees and I insinuate myself onto the mechanical staff of the Purbright workshops. Uh, uh, punch 59 for me, mate, will you? 59? Why, that's Jim Dakin's number. Of course it is. He's legging it today, exercising a couple of dogs. I'm doing his shift for him. But mum's the word. I'll let you know in good time for Saturday night. I'll tell Jim to look you up. What's your name? Mike Donnelly. Uh, and don't forget to tell Jim. I'll uh, slip his in with mine. Quick like. Here's your medal. Now scram before the gatekeeper gets wise. Thanks. Scram, he says. And how. And now for the back stairs. Oh. No electrics on, apparently. Good. Everything made to order. Well, here goes. Well, what do you want? Uh, excuse me, sir. Foreman Electric sent me up. Why? He told me there was a couple of blackouts last night. I'm to check circuits in your flat. Won't take long, sir. Very well. Check and be quick about it. Incidentally, such things as happened last night will not happen again. Do you understand? Uh, yes, sir. And another thing. I expect my worker to be clean-shaven at this hour of the morning. Not reporting in my quarters with unshaven chins and grease all over them. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I'll remember. All right. Get on with your job and be snappy about it. And when you've checked, come back to the workshop and tell your foreman to come to my office. Uh, yes, sir. And close the door after you. Now I'm going down. Uh, right, sir. Oh, confound you! What's your damnable hurry? Do you know your clumsy fool you jammed my fingers in that door? Did I, sir? My word, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, excuse me, I carry a little plaster around with me always. Uh, can I offer you one? That's well? the least you can do. Right. Now then. Now, Ooh. that'll fix it, sir, in no time. Uh, maybe the nail will turn a bit oh, black. Shut up and get on with your job. And don't forget what I've told you. Uh, no, sir. And I'll shut the door myself this time. Well, I wish it had amputated the old devil's fingers. Now for it. Desk first, I think. There must be something I can lay my hands on. That man's a crook, or I'm much mistaken. And who was he talking to last night? And where did the other bloke go to? Aha, aha. Small tracings. Very intricate bits of diagrams. Oh, confound it. The text is all in foreign characters. Now, why? I think I'll pocket these for a start. Now to explore the flat and see where our friend's friend went. Hmm, solid as a rock. Wait on. I've got it. Must be a contact switch somewhere. Now think, man, think. Well, I'm dashed. A piece of revolving wall like my own. Try it. So that's it. While we were skirmishing round last night, Mr. Purbright's friend was dodging in and out through this. Ah. All right. Close it up and clear. Oh, God bless my soul. I <laughs> wonder how Jim Dakin number 59 is getting on. Now do I wish it was dark. I daren't try the main gate. 
The gatekeeper will pounce on me like one thing. Hello. Here comes his cantankerous majesty. Uh, finished, sir. All in order. Finish what? The inspection, sir. What inspection? What the devil are you lounging about the yard for? Uh, yes, sir. Just on my way to report to the foreman. Well, get a move on and don't waste time yapping. Uh, I hope the finger isn't paining now, sir. What the devil do you... Here, look, you get about your job and next time you wish to speak to your managing director, do it through your shop steward. Now, be off with you. A darned unpleasant body, that, if ever I saw one. Oh, my sainted aunt. Well, well, what do you know? Hmm. However, that can wait. Now, how do I get out? Lord knows. I'm a very cooked goose if number 59 Jim Nakin has created a fuss. Ah, lunchtime. Might sneak through with them. It's the only way. Now, here goes for the sprint of my life. Hey, stop that man! Stop him! Hey, after him, quick! Why? But where the devil do I find a hole in the road? Lonnie! Lonnie, here! Barbara, by the living jingo! Jump in, quick! Home, James! This is not my car, surely. I'm not dumb. I pinched this one. We dump it after we've gone a mile or two. Better get those engineer studs off quickly. Yes, of course. Can you see any of the hounds? Not now we've shaken them off. Good. And this is where we change and then leave this car. Too true. I'll leave the overalls in the car as a present for the owner. We'll walk a little way to our car. Let's hurry, and I mean hurry. You seem to know something about hurrying. That sprint of yours was up to Olympic standards. Yes, wasn't it? Yes, in the three-legged class. Eh? <laughs> well, how... Now, grateful as I am, how was it you were on the spot? Simple. A daylight job like the one you attempted was almost certain of exposure. So I anticipated you'd have to make a run for it. So I stood by for about two hours. In a stolen car? My hat! It came off, didn't it? Yes, it came off. Now, here's our car. It's safe to get in now. And on the way, you can tell me how you got on. Tell me all about the man who talks to himself. I don't know much of that gentleman yet. But I helped myself to some tracings and papers that I'm going to examine as soon as I get home. Any idea what they're about? Only a glimmering. But, my dear girl, listen, there's something very rotten in that outfit of Purbright. Yes, very rotten. And I'll be on to it very soon. Will it do us any good? Any good? <laughs> It'll reap us a harvest. And it will, I think, enable you to cross off another name from your list. And... Hmm. Well, go on. Barbara, listen to this. Have you ever seen a man howl with pain through getting his fingers stuck in a door and yet doesn't know he's done it? Obviously, Roland Fletcher has caught on to something. But we'll have to wait and see what as we follow the next development in this adventure of The Grey Goose. We all have that friend who wakes up early to go get everyone McDonald's breakfast but the rest of us sleep in. This is your sign to thank them. And if you're that friend, this is us saying thank you. Just a friendly reminder that right now, get any size iced coffee before 11 a.m. for just 99 cents. And a satisfying sausage McMuffin with egg is just $2.79. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Hello, it is Ryan, and I was on a flight the other day playing one of my favorite social spin slot games on Chumbacasino.com. I looked over at the person sitting next to me, and you know what they were doing? They were also playing Chumba Casino. Coincidence? I think not. Everybody's loving having fun with it. Chumba Casino is home to hundreds of casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere, even at 30,000 feet. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com to claim your free welcome bonus. That's ChumbaCasino.com and live the Chumba life. No purchase necessary. BTW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.